trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. The trig functions are functions used to relate angles of right triangles to the ratios of the sides of the triangle. It was first developed for astronomy 2,000 years ago by Egyptians, Babylonians, and Greeks to describe the paths of the seven recognized planets. Trigonometry goes well beyond space. It has applications in navigation, engineering, physics, and meteorology, just to name a few. Sokotoa. You may want to remember this acronym, Sokotoa. Sine of the angle equals the opposite leg over the hypotenuse, cosine of the angle equals the adjacent leg over hypotenuse, and the tangent of the angle equals the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Here we have right triangle ABC, and I'm showing the equations that will work for angle A, as well as angle B. Notice that the tangent of A and the tangent of B are reciprocals of each other, and cosine of angle A and sine of angle B are equal, as well as the sine of angle A and cosine of angle B. We cannot use the trig functions for the 90 degree angle. Example 1. Find the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios for angle A. So we're given a right triangle with the legs 6 and 8, and we need to find the hypotenuse C in order to find all the ratios. So I substitute my legs into my equation, solve for c, and I get c equals 10. So there's my hypotenuse of 10. Now I can use Sokotoa to find all the ratios for angle A. So the opposite side is 6, and the adjacent side is 8 from angle A. So sine equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse which equals 6 over 10, which simplifies to 3 fifths. Cosine of angle A is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse, which is 8 over 10, which simplifies to 4 fifths. Tangent is the opposite leg over the adjacent leg, which is 6 over 8, or 3 fourths. Part B. find the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios for angle B. So we have another right triangle, and we're given a leg of 8 and the hypotenuse of 12. So we have to find the leg A by using the Pythagorean theorem and solving for A. We need to simplify the radical, and we get 4 root 5. So our leg is 4 root 5. Now we can use Sokotoa again, and this time for angle B, side A is the adjacent, and side 8 is the opposite, and the hypotenuse is 12. Sine B equals the opposite leg over the hypotenuse, equals 8 over 12, or 3 fourths. Cosine of B is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse, which is 4 fifths over 12 which simplifies to root 5 over 3. And the tangent of B equals opposite leg over the adjacent leg, which is 8 over 4 fit root 5, which simplifies to 2 over root 5. We have to rationalize the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 5. And we get 2 root 5 over 5. And those are our ratios. So we tell. Example 2. Solve a variable. So we're given a right triangle with angle A being 20 degrees, the opposite side being x and the hypotenuse 12 feet. So we're going to use sine for this. Sine of the angle equals opposite leg over hypotenuse. We're going to substitute 20 in for angle A and 12 for the hypotenuse. The function will relate the angle to an equivalent ratio. Essentially, this is a proportion. So I want to solve for x by getting rid of 12 by multiplying. That's the inverse of dividing. And I go to my calculator, 12 times sine 20. 
and I get 4.1 feet. Be careful on the calculator and make sure you're in degrees, not radians. Okay, box that in. We're going to have another right triangle. This time we have angle B is 53 degrees and the adjacent leg is 5 inches and the hypotenuse is the unknown, this Z. So in this situation I'm going to use cosine. Cosine B equals the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. Cosine 53 equals 5 over Z. My unknown is in the denominator this time. So I, I need to get Z out of the denominator by multiplying it to both sides. Now cosine 53 is a number just like any other. So the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide cosine 53 to both sides. And I go to my calculator, 5 divided by cosine 53. And I get 8.3 rounded to the nearest tenth. So that would be z equals 8.3 inches. Box it in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go back and rewatch anytime. No, really. Go back and watch again. See you next time.